Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Digimon World 2. In the last part, we are heading up the core tower after we found out that our gods are here. Yes, our gods, or our guardians, something like that. And we are hopefully going to find them and beat their faces off or something? I don't know. Maybe they just want to talk. I'm sure that's how it's going to end in this RPG where we're constantly fighting. I mean, have faith, right? Anyway, uh, well, he's somebody we haven't fought before, but we can just get right past him. He's also a lot bigger than you would think he would be, considering he's one of the smaller Digimon, right? If I'm remembering correctly. Dran Koagamon in there with Pukumon. Let's see if I can... Ah. I was trying to get an angled without moving thing there. It's easy to do when you're just turning around like this, but when you're at an angle, yeah, it's really hard to do with an angle. Anyway. Climb the towers. So we're already at floor 20, and like I said, if I recall, it's, it, one of these is 28. Maybe I'm wrong, though. I have a hard time recalling certain facts about this, as you've already found out many times. What do we have in here? Wave Missile 5? That is super high class. Oh, hey, look. Why not? Just got it, anyway. Oh, no. Will I make it? Nope. Uh, we've already fought Pokemon and Grand Kawagamon. And at this point, I... I just don't... I don't feel like fighting them. We're close enough. I just... I don't feel like fighting them. We'll have plenty of time for that. Because we're close enough. I guess I, uh, I should be keeping track of what Digimon are here so that I can come and recruit some, since I will be doing one more Digivolution. Pukumon. Um, I guess we'll see a little bit later. I'll, I'll put some ideas in my mind, but I don't want to say that they're my final, my final deals. Boltmon. I mean, again, it is also kind of limited since we have to actually collect the Digimon, and they have to be able to be somewhat able to be caught, such as a Metal Seedramon. Chances of catching that is not going to be very... Let's speak of the devil. The chance of actually capturing a Metal Seedramon is pretty low. Is he considered a... Yeah, Skull Mammoth Mon is considered a Mega. Okay. No. Get away from me. So what do you have, Skull Mammoth Mon? And Hercules Kabuterimon. Now, Hercules Kabuterimon is one of those that I always finish with. But I'm... Don't really wanna... If I if I did capture a Hercules Kabuterimon, I'd digivolve him so that we wouldn't be getting his type. So we wouldn't have a Hercules Kabuterimon. Unless I just randomly picked them and he did actually come up as the randomly picked one. In which case, still technically randomly picked. There are a lot of magnetic mis uh, electrospores here. I forgot what they were actually called there for a second. It seems that we're getting closer to the Guardians because now they're throwing out some actual guards. They aren't just good guy Phantomons anymore. There's Preciomon. That's a new one. Must be precious. Preciomon. This guy's just gonna... He has energetic... He's ADHD. Can't hold himself. What about up here? Eh. We must go deeper. Yeah, this floor is really, actually, pretty, uh... Pretty well defended. 
I was about to say defensed, but that's not a word. <laughs> Unless you, like, had your fence removed. Unless it was defensed. That's the only way it would actually have been a word. Alright. What do we have? Mine. Get out of my way. One metal Seedramons. Why couldn't it have been Good Guy Phantomon? Or Good Guy Metal Seedramon? Who's he gonna have? Preciomon? Yep. Is Preciomon a Mega or an Ultimate? I will check real quick. I think he's an Ultimate. He might even be a Champion. Nope, he's a Mega. Hmm. He might just be a contender for the Mega to get, even though I'd like to get a Metal Seedramon anyway. He's not normally one that I get, but he is normally one that I DNA Digivolve with. Treasure Room! What kind of treasure do you have for me, Treasure Room? Nothing in this one. I want some treasure! Give me some treasure. Empty. There's like 60% chance the next chest is also empty. They like to do that to you. Booby trapped and empty? Nope. Might as well have been though, because I'm not going to use that. <laughs> Further, we are on the floor. So this was 24 floors. So the final one must be 28. Soon, I'll finally get to meet the Guardians. Whoa. Welcome, Black Sword Mike. Y you're the Guardian? That is correct. I am one of the three Guardians. I am Black Sword Guardian in charge of virus-type Digimon and their creation. I gave the Black Swords their skills to be tamers of the virus-type Digimon. Then the legend is really true? I have something... Uh, well, <clears throat> I went too far there. I have something I want to ask you about the truth of this world. Answering your questions is easy. But first I want to see if you're qualified to know the answer. Show me your power! Sure, what do I have to do? It's simple. Just fight me. Are you ready? Don't hold anything back. Show me everything you've got. And we have a new fight music. Alright, so we have the Black Sword Guardian. Now, what he actually does? Not really that hard as far as I can remember. But, we'll be on guard anyway. So he, he right there is the creator of all virus type Digimon. And we are firing stuff at his face. He's quite a bit of defense though. Uh oh, here we go. Weaken him. Suck it. Should have probably armor coded. I don't know if he's considered a virus type, even though he's a creator of virus type. Rail cannon. No. I think that was like supposed to be a rail gun, which would be scary. Considering it hit 28 and I was not powered up. Let's see how much fire tornado hits. And let's see if I can armor code him. Oh, pretty attack will not work. So yeah, I think the only problem with this music is it's just a little bit too relaxed. Oh, okay, counterattack. Stun punch. I'm paralyzed now. But at least I'm more powerful. Okay. So far, we're just kind of going back and forth to see what his skills are. 
but at least he's not like a complete pushover like Crimson was. Everything else, just do this. See, they made a little bit of progress when they realized that Neo Crimson was probably a little bit too easy when he was by himself. Uh oh, another stun punch. Ow, that one actually hurt a little bit. And multiple stuns is actually kind of problematic if we keep missing, for obvious reasons. But luckily we have some heals, and I don't think heals can be missed. I'm actually going to armor coat extra animal as well. I don't think he has a heal. Wouldn't be surprised though. Uh, see what I mean about the both missing though? It's okay. He's just trying to stall us out. That's all he's doing. There's his rail cannon again, probably. A little bit of damage. Let's actually hit him this time though, guys. I might as well armor attack or armor coat everybody. Yay, cured for now. Until he probably uses stun punch right here. Ah, you missed. You big skull. Huh, wonder why his name was Skull. Alright, so now everybody's powered up though. And we can just rail on him. Yeah. Uh, dark shot him. Why not? And now at this point we know all his moves, I think. I, like I said, I don't think he has a heal move. He might have a third move that he hasn't used yet, but I don't think he has that or a attack all move. Meanwhile, we have a heal which pretty much makes us completely win. So we just got chip away on his HP. Oh, is this a heal? Armor aid. Defensive power up. No! Now we can do even less damage to him. At least he's actually, since he is by himself, at least he's doing the smart thing and actually using varied moves, unlike Neo Crimson, who is just using random moves. Another paralysis cured. We're all good to go. This is as you would expect from a god. His arms aren't connected. That's what a god's kind of gods I know. They don't have arms. Well, they have like the, the forearm. They don't have back arms. Why not? <sighs> we'll get you, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Probably just call him Black Sword Kami or something. I don't know. Kind of wish they had names, but everybody just goes off their name. Or just calling them the Black Sword Guardian or the Blue Sword Guard, uh, Blue Falcon Guardian or the Gold Hot Guardian. And I'm pretty sure each they don't have like copied moves. I'm pretty sure each champion act or uh, guardian actually has different moves and fighting styles so if you really wanted to completely see everything the game has to offer you'd have to play through the game three times which I've played through the game with all three types anyway so I have seen all three and I think if I remember correctly I think I like the the gold hawk 
Guardian the best. But that's okay. Like I said, I, I've always, since Black Sword was the very first Tamer team that I joined when I first bought the game, it has a special place in my heart. And I missed. Yeah, he's got a few more rounds in him. I was about to just not worry about my HP, but then luckily we're not that low. Just gotta whittle him down a little bit more. Probably at least two more turns, but hopefully we can get. A, hopefully we don't have to go to the third. And hopefully he doesn't use any more defense up. Max out his defense. It'd also help if I actually would attack with Magna Dramon. <laughs> but no problem. Now that I hear this music, I think this music is remixed in Digimon World 3. I th a lot of the music in Digimon World 3 is actually from Digimon World 2, just slightly altered. There's one that I didn't even notice until I had played through so many times, and even then, I may just be hearing it, but I'll, I'll make sure to point that out when I actually do get around to it. Could this be it? Could this be it? Have we defeated the god? Yes! We killed God! Hooray! Shitty XP for killing God. Incredible, Mike. I see that you do have the right to know the truth. Because I know that you have the power to destroy the Overlord Gaia. Overlord Gaia? What is that? It's a huge computer that is out of control. And that is what prevents you from going back to the real world and is making Digimon wild. Huh? But even the ruler of this digital world can be destroyed. It's because the control program installed from the outside world is in effect. Please, Mike, destroy that out of control Gaia in the Chaos Tower. Or Digimon will still become wild and this world will be destroyed in the end. Once the Overlord Gaia is destroyed, the backup will save this world, then you people will be freed from this matrix and be able to go back to the real world. Huh? Re return to the real world? That's right. You people are not of this world. You are only existing in this world with the aid of the matrix. The real you exists in the outside world. There is a real me? That's right. Now you're in existence in a dream. Destroy the Overlord Gaia and free everyone from this nightmare. Please. Wait a minute. Did I really... I really killed him. I really killed the god. Oops. Anyway. Wow. So we're... We're a dream. M. Night Shyamalan, did you write this game? I'm just making sure. You, you, did you write this game? Anyway. So we defeated the god and... Now we know what we must do. We must defeat the Overlord Gaia. So that little robot that we fought, we must have to fight him. Or, hmm, what could it be? Welcome back, Mike. I have to come all the way back here even though I just completed the level. Well, one thing I'm gonna check before we head out, I don't know if I think there's one more Digimon up here. Metal Garurumon for Metal Seedramon. All right. So anyway, at this point, like I said, I'm going to be DNA Digivolving one more time. So most of this is going to be done off camera, obviously. Uh, as for what Digimon I pick. I guess we'll just have to see, but I will actually capture them on camera. I'm just going to go and max out this team first. And then after that, once we're done collecting the random Digimon, hopefully not going to be shitty ones, we'll DNA Digivolve them. And then we'll have to train a little bit 
to get to the final level of the game, which is actually unlocked now, which I guess we could go ahead and go see what that final level is called, what we'll be fighting for and toward. We can go and see what is left. There was Core Tower. And now, we have a long way to go before I can do this, so I don't know why I said it this early. What? But, the shuttle's not here. Oh, here it is. That's because we have teleports! Chaos Tower. Hmm. I'll even give you a sneak peek of what Chaos Tower looks like. Here it is. And more new music. And so, this is where I'm going to end it for now. In the next part, I'm going to do all that stuff I just said. So we're going to have a new team, and then we're going to face Overlord Gaia, probably in like three episodes or something. Probably two, actually, because we're going to cut out a lot of stuff. But thanks for watching, guys, and until the next part, see you later.